All right, it's another windy day out here in sunny Vasiliki. And today, I'm going to be talking you through the duck jive. Go broad reach. Woo this is fast one. Flattish board, duck early. Smile for the exit. There's a low down for change. Love it. Now, as you've been asking me too, with all these clips and videos I've been making, right now I'm on a 4.8, pretty powered up, and a 103 code, the freestyle wave from Starboard. The 4.8 is an S1, I should say. Really nicely powered up, feeling pretty good, on some relatively flattish water. A bit gusty, but it's fairly okay right now. But having said, that's the kit I'm on right now, and that's the, the primary session, if you like, that I'm filming all this with. What I'm definitely going to be doing is throwing in a lot of extra clips so you can really get the idea of what this duck jive is about, the key points I'm trying to make for it. And just uh, if you do want to know which kit the other ones I've filmed on, I'll label it at the bottom of each clip so you can see uh, maybe this one is on a 5.6 and a code for example or whatever it may be. Let's get warmed up. First duck jive coming in. I've done it in a lull, it's dropped off a bit. I'm off the plane, but dropping and pushing as you've seen in the other videos. And there it is, back up and onto the plane. Oh, missed my harness line, they've not been set yet. And we're back up to a bit of speed. Now then, when should you start learning to duck jive? I think a lot of people wait far too long in your development, or maybe let's say in the frustrating path or plateau that is learning to carve jibe. If you can just about carve jibe of a sort, and I don't mean playing out, and I don't mean making gracefully smooth or demonstration standard as, as such, but if your carve jibes are okay, start messing around with some ducks. You don't need to be great at them to start learning the new skill. And actually they complement each other really nicely. And actually they complement each other really nicely if you're hitting that plateau. One of the ways of getting past whatever plateau maybe is learning something completely different or slightly different, duck jiving. Duck jiving just so we're on the same page as ducking the rig and then around the turn in the other direction. So still a carved drive of a sort, but we're ducking the rig. But the key thing that I think we should clarify right now is that it's a duck, then a jive. When you're learning these, they don't happen at the same time. We go through our H's, head, hand, harness, hips, bearing away to broad reach. I've sped up nicely, the board's flat. There's the duck jive. So it's a duck on a broad reach on the entrance with a flattish board. And once you've made the duck and got the rig around to the new side, you then carve hard on the new rail. You then change your feet very late. And not all happening at the same time, which is a, a thing I quite like about the duck jive is it's very modular, let's say. Okay, I've done the duck. I've got a second to think. Now I'm going to carve. I've got a few seconds to think, and now nice and late, I can change my feet. Not all at the same time. The duck itself. Practice it time and time and time again on the land. Take your fin off, stick your board on some grass or on your board bag, 
or whatever you've got to practice on and get that hand movement working smooth. And the aim is, with the duck itself, you're in a neutral position on top of the board, standing vertically still, and the sail can get passed from one hand to the other. Just like it's not a carve as such, it's definitely not a duck. I'm actually in a fairly stable, solid position. Swift change that was just there. Testing out a new camera mount for this video and it failed epically. But I'm back. Duck jibes, where were we? Getting your entrance good. Head, hand, harness, hips, hooves. Duck that rig early on a flat board on the broad reach going into it. When you catch it on the new side, carve hard towards your exit and change your feet very late. There's no rush to change those feet over. If they stay switch starts, the power kicks in, or not quite switch, your back foot's over. And then that duck is happening in a neutral position on top of the board. A position that if you were to lose control slightly, then it doesn't matter. You're still balanced on top of the board. Got some space here. Flat board on that broad reach entrance. Duck, catch, carve hard. Still carving switch stance. There's the foot change very late. I think the biggest thing that really makes success for this duck is practice time and time and time again in no wind or light winds on the land. So you really get that muscle memory drilled. I'm showing you right now that hand movement of what happens. The neutral position. Backhand is already far back on the board because of your entrance. The boom gets brought forwards into your original front hand. You then throw the clue towards the outside of the turn. And if you do it well, you can actually go no-handed for a split second. And if you don't catch the boom back up towards the front in your normal hand position, on your first throw and catch, just shuffle those hands quickly up to the front to their normal position. So they're back where they should be, nice and snappy. Head, hand, harness, hips, this is me bearing away. Flat board, duck, no hands, catch, carve, foot change. Dropped off the plane a little bit there. I'm always going to blame the love. Let's blame the love. And myself included, I'm one of these ones that I'm sure you've heard it around the beaches. A common sentence, I think, was I learned to plane out, or I, I was planing out of duck jibes well before I was planing out of a calf jibe. Really, really, it works, the duck jibe. And one of the reasons uh, the sail doesn't just get ripped out of your hand is because you've sped up as fast as you can. You're definitely going into this broad reach at full speed. And it's, it's not like there's no wind in the sail, but when you get up to the speed, there's a lot less power in the sail and you can release and catch the clue and spin it through the wind without it getting ripped out of your hands. A little fault finding thing that I like to find, think about actually is when I'm making my duck, if the sail is getting ripped out on the first part, you've ducked it too early. You're either not up to speed or you haven't gone broad enough. As in I reach for the clue and instantly there's so much power in the sail it's getting ripped out of my hands. If you can make it around to the new side, and then the sail gets ripped out of your hands, you've ducked too late. So you've gone all the way around like, yes, I've got this. I can duck, I can catch, and then suddenly, wow, that's duck in the sail too late. So it's quite an easy fault finding one, fault analysis for yourself. What's going wrong? Why am I getting ripped out of my hands? Too early or too late? 
It depends on which part of the duck it's getting ripped out of your hands on. And that, my friends, is a duck jive. You can get a little bit more technical with it, but I think one of the keys for the duck jive is simplicity and guts. All the guts, all the glory. Bear away, get that board up to speed and duck it with a flat board early before you're then carving round. Let me know how you get on, let me know what's working. And I do read every comment that comes through to these uh, to these videos I'm doing. I try my best to get through and reply to you guys as much as I can. So please keep commenting. I really enjoy reading them and seeing what's going on. And as I said every time, we're out here in Vasiliki, based in the Cosmos Hotel. Come and join me for some clinics. I've got some really cool clients that I've improved over the last few weeks and months. It'd be great if you were one of them. Come and see me here. One final duck jive for the road, and I'll see you next time. Here we go, broad reach. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is fast one. Flattish board, duck early. Smile for the exit. There's a low down for change. Love it. See you next time. I do really appreciate you guys joining me on the channel and it seems to be picking up traction and getting such great comments. If you're still watching this late in the video, one of the die-hard guys that have been supporting through the channel, thank you so much. A lot of you are asking about pumping techniques, which I'm gonna get to. I haven't fully filmed it yet, but I thought, while I'm here, a little bit marginal, there's one of the pumping techniques for you. Just a little demo of one of a number, Ooh, I'm out of breath, one of a number of pumping techniques that you can go through to get on the plane if you're just slightly underpowered like I am now as I make my way back to the beach. Thanks as always team, see you on the next one.